Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I know this is long and overdue. I apologize. I've just been working a lot and I've had a lot going on in the past two weeks. I also have a couple of items from Dollar General, which I will show at the very end of the video, just in case you're not interested to see those items. And then I also wanted to give a quick shout out to one of my viewers. Her name is Therese. I have a really beautiful friend mail that I need to film and share. Thank you so much, Therese, for the friend mail and thinking of me. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first item that I have to show you guys is one of the Main Street Wall Creations wall decals. And this one is super cute. It's got the unicorns on it with the rainbows and the stars. And it says, Love, Dream, Create. This is the back. It's just got more of the cute little unicorns, the clouds, the shooting star. So I picked that up. I also picked up two more wall decals, and both of them are repurchases. The only reason that I repurchased both of these wall decals is because I'm putting together a couple of friend mails and I didn't want to have to put my wall decals in there. So this is the Paris one, which I'm sure you have seen multiple times, but I still think it's really nice. It says, take me to Paris. It's got the Eiffel Tower and then the pretty pink roses. And then the third one, also a repurchase, is the baby French Bulldog with the flowers and the feathers on his or her head and it says you never or you're never too little to wait you're never too little to dream big sorry guys so that was the third one they had these super cute heart jewel keychains and I just pulled a bunch of the stuff out of my bags and I know for a fact I picked up one in the turquoise color and I don't see it so I did post a picture of it on my Instagram if you want to see what the turquoise one looks like. It is around here somewhere because I did see it when I got home. So here's what they look like. Just imagine it in turquoise. I don't know if there was purple. I think there was only turquoise and pink from what I remember. I picked up two, two or three of these Crest Pro Health toothpaste and these are actually the large size you guys these are 7.0 ounces which I thought was a great deal for a buck yes you can get an even better deal with coupons but I'm not big into couponing so for me this is a good deal it says sensitive and enamel shield tartar whitening and freshens breath this is actually perfect for me considering it's sensitive right now because I just had to get an emergency root canal on one of my teeth so this is going to be good for that up near the front, near the cash registers, they had these super cute cat and dog stationery sets. And my favorite one was the Pretty Kitty. I picked up this journal right here. And this is in the Crown Jewels brand. If you guys are familiar with that, they have it quite a bit at Dollar Tree. And they always have the cutest stuff in it. So I picked up two of the pocket notepads. I only got one of the soft cover journals. And I picked up two of each of those so I could send some in a friend mail. And then I also got two of the Pretty Kitty notepads. These are not magnetic. I thought they were, which is kind of a bummer, but I still think they're super cute. I also picked up some of the dog ones, but I didn't pick up all of the dog ones. I thought this one was really cute. It's got the... Um, is that a bulldog? I forget what that dog is called. And it says, uh, Monday. It's got the different days of the week. And then I picked up this pocket notepad. And it says, this is how I roll. And it's got the cute doggy right there with the dog paw. I think those are all of the uh, kitty cat and doggy stationary items that I got. Oh, here's the turquoise one, you guys, in the heart jewel keychain. I knew I had one of those. I picked up this home store brand toilet bowl cleaner set. You get three of the tabs and you put these in the back of your tank on your toilet and it's supposed to freshen the water and it turns it purple. I actually really like the scrub and bubbles ones. They had them at Dollar Tree for quite some time and it was like a two pack. Those ones last forever, but I haven't been able to find them at the Dollar Tree recently. So I just thought I would give these a try. These are lavender scented, I believe. I picked up this little pack of 
Pop Studios Fun Magnets. They also had another set. These are definitely not going to be for my refrigerator because I have way too many magnets that I've already packed away. You don't just have to use them on your refrigerator, obviously. These are going to go in a friend mail. Then they had these super cute little blocks, and of course I got both of them in J's, and you can put cards on these, you can put pictures on them, whatever you want to do with them. I think they would be cute for doing little crafts, and I kind of want to spray paint these or repaint them because I'm not too fond of the colors. I picked up another one of these Bolero facial wipe packs. It's the coconut oil and sea salt. I really like these makeup wipes as far as the scent, and I just put coconut oil on my eyes or my face, and then I use these to wipe off whatever makeup I have, and that seems to work really well for me. I don't know if I already showed this because I've already tried filming this video twice, but I picked up this cosmetic bag. They had like two or three different prints, and I liked this one the best. I went ahead and picked up one more of the Beauty Benefits Silky Blushes. This one is in the... Where's the name of it? Oh, the Punch. And I actually have another color that's in my makeup. It's like a little bucket type thing. And the color is really pretty, and I think the blush works well for me. I actually had an employee say that they hated this makeup line and they didn't like it. I didn't like the liquid eyeliner, but I did like the blushes and the mascaras. So far, that's all I've tried in the stuff that I bought in these pink boxes. I picked up... Okay, this I didn't actually pick up, but I wanted to show it to you guys because... I had showed these a while back, and I told you guys I didn't know how they worked, and I would always see them all the time when I didn't want to buy tons of them. I think I bought like six, and now I'm down to my last one. This one's actually empty, but I really like this stuff, you guys. I think it works really well. It made, or actually makes my laundry soft, and it makes it smell really good. It's the Home Bright In Wash Fragrance Booster Clean Fresh Scent. It's 15 ounces. Now that I actually want them, I can't find them. And when we do get them in our store, they go super fast because everyone buys them in bulk. So I know this isn't from this haul, like I said, but I wanted to share it with you guys and let you guys know what I thought of it. So if you see this, definitely pick it up and give it a chance. <clears throat> Just because I like it doesn't mean you're going to like it, but I do think it's definitely worth a buck. <clears throat> I picked up these Glade Sprays. Let me grab them really quick, you guys. So, um, a customer actually brought up the green one, and I was like, oh, I didn't see these. And I had asked her if there were any other scents, and she said no, this was the only one. But when I went back there to get it, I saw this one. It's the Soho SoCal Citrus and Mimosa Flower. And then this one is the Matcha Garden Green Tea and Aloe. I sprayed this one. This one's really strong. I don't hate it, but it's not something that I like, you know, super love or anything. And then this one, I don't think I really sprayed it. So I'm not sure how I feel about these completely yet. They're 8 ounces each, but I thought for Glade and a newer scent, limited edition for a buck, why not give them a try? I know they're like 89 cents at Walmart, but it would cost me more in gas to go pick them up. I picked up two packs of these Sassy and Chic artif Artificial sorry, Nail Tips. You get 80 of them in each pack, which I thought was a really good deal. I've actually done people's nails just a couple of times. I have all of the stuff to do it professionally. No, I'm not a professional. No, I don't do it on a normal basis, so please spare me any lectures. It's just something I've done for friends, just playing around, like doing you know, kind of like spa day, and um, I actually bought tips at Sally's, and they were way more than a buck for um, a less amount, so I figured why not keep these on hand, you never know, and I've actually done my own nails before, wasn't easy, but I've actually done them all the way from the, like, scratch, putting the tips on once, but I've actually given myself fills a couple of times. The fills are way easier, but I just prefer to go get them done. It's a lot easier. So anyways, back to the haul. I picked up these Global Beauty Care Retinol Spa Treatment Masks. These are newer, at least to my Dollar Tree. 
I don't know how these are going to work, but I thought for a buck they looked like they'd be kind of nice. And you get two of the facial treatment masks in each box, so I have four of them. Now I will let you know what I think of them. What else is in here? Oh, I picked up these Hello Kitty toothbrushes, and I had actually seen these on Instagram, and we got a bunch of them in, but by the time I had come into work, there was literally two left. I had to get off my register when there was no one in line and go run to the aisle, and there was only one on the peg, and one was laying, like, on a shelf on the bottom, so I snagged them both up. They did have, I believe it's Jake and the Neverland Pirates, but I already have multiples of those put away in one of the drawers in my beauty room, and I had never got my hands on the Hello Kitty ones if they ever had them. So these would make nice Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, or maybe even just a travel toothbrush, whatever you want to use it for. I went ahead and picked up one more of these family tin candles. It's got two wicks on it, and this is going to be in a friend mail. I already purchased these in the turquoise and this kind of orangey, citrus-looking color. I didn't get the red one because strawberry is not my favorite, but I thought this one did smell good, and for a friend mail, I think it would be a nice little gift. So that's nothing super new, but let's see what else. Okay. I picked up a couple packs of the home store bath tissue. It's 275 sheets per roll, 50% more sheets, and it's 122.2 square feet. I do have a huge pack from Target right now, but I think these toilet paper rolls last for quite a while considering they're a buck for four. I like to get this pack over the Angel Soft at Dollar Tree. I picked up another one of these Chase MM Insect Repellent. We actually just had another West Nile scare in our county, so I want to make sure that we put this on every time we go outside, especially in the, sorry, I can't talk, especially in the evening, and for a buck, I thought, why not? Okay, I think that's everything from Dollar Tree, you guys. I, at least I hope it is. Now I'm going to show you guys the couple of items that I got from Dollar General. So you guys know that I absolutely love coffee mugs, <clears throat> and I like to display them. I have these hooks that go on the wall, and I thought this was really nice. It's the True Living Bronze Coffee Mug Holder. They also had these um, where they would hold your K-cups, and then they also had them where they held napkins. So I'm going to display four of my mugs on here, and I think I'm going to display my mugs that have gold on them. They're like white and gold. So I got that, and I believe this was like $4 or $3 for this. That's not from there. I picked up this Daily Defense a Scented Impression of Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Wash. It says it's 13.5 ounces, and it smells really, really good, you guys. This particular one, I really wish they would start getting this one at the Dollar Tree because I don't go to Dollar General, like, hardly ever, but this does smell really good. I picked up this pack of these Art Skills Tape Trends glitter stickers. You get 32 of the adhesive letters. I've actually purchased this set from Dollar General before, but I used them up a long time ago. I like to personalize cards, so that's why I got those. I picked up this little pack of the Art Skills Sparkling Gems, and these are in the pearls. I thought for a dollar these were really pretty. Um, this set was also a dollar, and then the body wash was also a dollar as well. I picked up this Dial Miracle Oil Hand Soap infused with the Marula Oil. This was a dollar as well. And then for $1.25, I got the larger dial, but it's in the gold antibacterial one. And this one I've gotten from Walmart multiple times. It smells really good. I picked up this cute little magnetic notepad. This is in the DG Office brand, it says, but first coffee. I know I have a couple from Dollar Tree that say, but first coffee, but I think they look a little bit different than this. This was a buck, and you get 60 sheets. And then I thought there was one more item from Dollar General. 
I thought there was like a bigger item. I think I'm forgetting something or I didn't bring something over here to the couch. I'm not sure, but that's everything that I wanted to share. I know this video wasn't the best, you guys. Um, I'm kind of in a hurry. Like I said, I have work, but I wanted to film one for you guys and get it up because I know it has been a while. Like I said, I apologize for that. If you guys would like to go over to my Instagram, it's breakup to makeup one. I do post pictures there more often than I upload videos. Feel free to leave a comment. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to stick around and watch my videos. If you hit the subscribe button and then click the bell, it will notify you every time one of my newest videos is uploaded. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.